In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager on your website. All the more coming up right after this. Hey there, and welcome to another video of MeasureSchool.com, helping you navigate the tech tools and tactics of today's digital marketing world. My name is Julian, and today we want to install Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. Now to get this started, I would assume that you have already a Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager account set up. You can do this here in this menu and then you will be greeted with your Google Tag Manager and also Google Analytics account. Now we want to set up Google Analytics, at least the page view tracking, through Google Tag Manager. And this is all about deploying this tracking code that we have of our Google Analytics through our Google Tag Manager account. Since we will deploy this through our account, we actually need to first install Google Tag Manager on our page. And for that to work, we need to implement the GTM snippet, which you can find by clicking just here on your GTM ID. And it will give you your two snippet codes that you need to install on your website and on every page of your website. First of all, the tracking code that needs to be placed in the head section, and then one that needs to be placed in the body section. Now, depending on your website, you have different methods of actually installing this. Now, this website is running on WordPress, so we could install this directly into the theme files right here. We could also use the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin to install Google Tag Manager. Or if you are completely on a different CMS or shop system, you might find other ways to install this. So for example, here on Shopify, we actually have a Google Analytics code section that you can install us. We have more on that in another video. Or on a Squarespace page, you actually have the head and footer section that you can place codes into in order to install Google Tag Manager onto the page. The goal is really to have that code then available in the HTML. So if you go to our page and go to view page source here, we should be able to see our Google Tag Manager code inside of the head section, but then also beneath the closing body tag. Uh, the opening body tag, which is right here. So I will go with the option of inputting this into our template files, which is obviously special to WordPress. And I would encourage you if you are on a WordPress site to only do this in your child theme in order to be sure that once the theme is updated, your changes don't get overwritten. So here we can find the closing head section and this is where I want to install Google Tag Manager, the first code at least. Let's copy this, put this in here and then we have our second snippet that we need to place beneath the opening body tag. So let's copy that and find the opening body tag which is right here and place that here as well. Now you might have seen that on the top here, I actually have our Google Analytics script already installed onto our page. Now this is something we will deploy through Google Tag Manager. So we don't want to deploy it twice on this page. This could lead to double tracking and therefore I will delete this from my actual deployment and click on update. Go back to my page here and ensure that Google Tag Manager is installed. How would I do this? First of all, I will check the actual HTML. So do we have our Google Tag Manager code here? Seems so, here we are. And we also have our second code in here. Now second method to see if this is actually on all the pages is to enter the preview and debug mode. And this is easily done by going into Google Tag Manager, clicking on preview here, which will put our browser into a special state. So we actually see a preview and debug console pop up on our page once we reload it. And this will help us once we go through these pages to see if Google Tag Manager is installed. If this doesn't open up for you, then you don't have Google Tag Manager correctly installed. Let's go over to a few more pages just to check whether Google Tag Manager is installed. You can also use an extension for Chrome, which is called the Google Tag Assistant, which you can install right from this URL. And this will give you this little icon here. So once you are on your page, you can click that and see if this lights up green, you have done everything correctly. Maybe there is a notice 
if you can improve your implementation in any way or form. Great, so now we have Google Tag Manager correctly installed. Now, how do we install this Google Analytics code through Google Tag Manager? Now, Google Tag Manager has a lot of different capabilities of deploying codes, and we will make use of the actual tag template here. Now, what we need to do is simply deploy Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. Let's go over to the tags here and click on New. And then we'll give this a name. This is our Google Analytics page view tag. And we want to deploy this on all pages. We'll click on Tag Configuration and then choose our analytics code. We have universal analytics or classic analytics. Now, chances are if you're using a new Google Analytics account, you are already upgraded to universal analytics. I would also guess that any other codes were already auto upgraded. So it's safe to say to choose the universal analytics option here. As a track type, we'll choose page view tag. This is correct. And we'll configure our Google Analytics settings variable first. So we'll go on new variable and enter here our tracking ID. Now this tracking ID is something you can find in our Google Analytics account. Just copy this over so you have your tracking ID in here. Leave the cookie domain on auto and give this a appropriate name. Now I oftentimes just choose the ID as a name. So if I have multiple of these, I can actually swap them out and know if I'm on the correct or can account straight away. So I'm just gonna save this. And we are pretty much all set with the settings here. Now we just need to choose a trigger and this is where our Google Analytics code gets deployed. And we want to deploy this on all pages. So we can just choose that default here and save this all. Go to the preview and debug mode again. And now go back to our page and reload our page. And now we should be able to see here in the preview and debug mode whether our Google Analytics tag has been fired. Now it says here tags fired on this page is the Google Analytics page view. This should be the same on every page here. Yep, seems to work correctly. We can also check back with the Google Tag Assistant if our Google Analytics code was deployed correctly. It seems to be that case. We have a page view that fired and we can also check within our Google Analytics account in the real time reporting whether data is coming through. So here we see there were three page views that just came through and therefore it is safe to assume that our Google Analytics code gets deployed correctly through Google Tag Manager. Once you have made sure that your data is correctly deployed through Google Tag Manager, we need to go the last step of actually publishing this so our tracking actually gets put live onto the web page. And this is done through clicking the submit button. You can actually use this to build different versions. So if you ever need to roll back your implementation, you could do that through this internet face as well. And therefore it's very important to name your versions. So I'm gonna give this a name and describe what we have just done. If you want, you can put in more descriptive notes in here and then simply click on this publish button. And now it will be published to all your users. So Previously, only you were able to actually see this preview and debug mode and your tag firing. Now, this will happen in the background for all the users of your web page. So, if you wanted to simulate this, let's reload our page again and go back to our workspace here. Actually, leave the preview mode, reload our page. So, now we don't have our preview mode anymore, but still, Google Analytics is deployed and we also should get incoming data into our account here. All right, so this is how you can install Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. All right, so did you like this video? Then don't hesitate, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, then you can go over to the next video over there or subscribe to our channel right over there because we will bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian, see you in the next one.